Welcome to the premiere of The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. To begin, please welcome the Hogwarts School Choir. stage right now. Good evening and welcome to the premiere of The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. Tonight you'll have a chance to explore Hogsmeade, have a butterbeer. Pardon the intrusion. How can I help you? Oh, I was wondering if someone could help me find a, a Mr. Larry Kurzweil. I am the wand keeper and I have something very special to deliver to him and only him. That's me. Ah! <laughs> brilliant! This is yours. I believe we did an excellent job in repairing it. So, let's give it a go, shall we? Point your wand in this direction and say the spell Incendio! Go on, give it a wave. Incendio! Ah! Brilliant! A perfect fit! <laughs> Incendio! Oh. Incendio! Uh, well, perhaps we should, uh, maybe, uh... <laughs> Incendio! Yes, uh, that, that will be well enough, well enough. I can see the wand has truly found its wizard. Now, I must say goodbye. Please, enjoy yourselves. I am certain that we shall all meet again soon. Carry on! <laughs> Incendio! That is so cool. Uh, welcome and thank you all for joining us on this very special occasion. It's really hard not to feel the emotional charge that is steadily built up to this evening for our team. Our, studi our story studio history started right here in 1915 when visionary Carl Lemley invited the public to go behind the scenes to watch silent movies being filmed. Fifty years later, in 1964, Hollywood mogul Lou Wasserman introduced Universal Studios Hollywood as the first ever behind the scenes backlot tour featuring then our shiny new glamour trends. It was only in 1996 that Universal Studios Hollywood began its epic journey into a full-fledged theme park with the introduction of Jurassic Park The Ride. That single inflection point changed our history with one larger-than-life dino roar heard round the world. I joined the company the following year and never could have dreamed to be standing here 19 years later 
and it totally reimagines Universal Studios Hollywood. When we, when we first announced Hogwarts is coming to Hollywood, we knew this powerful idea would be the perfect addition to our iconic movie studio property. Five years later, this magical village, cast against the dramatic backdrop of LA's Snow Peak Mountains, is the ideal setting for the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Tonight, Universal Studios welcomes one of the most powerful brands of our generation and the preeminent cultural cornerstone of contemporary literature and movies. Now, this day wouldn't have happened without the tireless vision of the chairman of Universal Parks and Resorts, Tom Williams, and the creative force of Mark Woodbury, president of Universal Creative, and his amazing team, whose collective imagination brought this incredible brand to life with an astonishing level of realism and attention to detail that the LA Times described this week as simply exquisite. And to Ron Meyer, Vice Chairman of NBC Universal, your inspiration and oversight for this property has set the stage for this next epic chapter in this incredible Hollywood story. I also want to thank our friends at Warner Brothers, along with the masterful wizard Alan Gilmore, for such an enduring partnership. And a very heartfelt thank you to my team, who have been so steadfast in shaping this epic transformation. With the support of Comcast and Steve Burke these past five years, we have completely changed over 75% of Universal Studios Hollywood into an entirely new world-class movie studio and theme park destination, and one we proudly hail as the entertainment capital of LA. I've always been proud to say that Universal Studios Hollywood is one of the oldest theme parks on this planet. Today, it is my privilege to say we are the newest. It is now my pleasure to introduce the chairman of Universal Parks and Resorts. Let's give it up for Tom Williams. Thank you, Larry. Oh boy, oh boy, what a night. Uh, I am so thrilled to be here. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter brought to life right here at the Universal Studios Hollywood. I mean, isn't it cool? I mean, here we are in Hogsmeade at the very footsteps of wonderful Hogwarts Castle. We're going to have a great time tonight, and we're so anxious to let you be part of this fabulous evening with all of us. You know, Larry mentioned the power of the Harry Potter brand, which is, of course, undeniable. Around the world, what a beloved collection of books brought to life by the movies. The work that um, J.K. Rowling penned is really uh, beyond description. The, the, the fabulous characters and the wonderful environments in which they lived and the stories that they were part of. It gives all of us something that we can identify with. Something that there's a character, there's a story, there's a, an occasion that all of us can, can emotionally connect to. And we do. And that's what makes the, uh, the brand so incredibly powerful. And as we first read those books, you know, we used our imagination to just try to conjure up what, what it was all about, what it would be like to be there. And then Warner Brothers with the, uh, the fabulous eight movies, you know, now we could go beyond our imagination and visually, visually be there and, and, and see it brought to life. And now, of course, the final step. As no longer do you need an imagination, all you need is to come and experience, to, to be part of it, to touch, to, to sense, to, to see and, to, and just partake in this whole fabulous, highly immersive environment. And so that's what all of you are doing, and, and that's what tens of millions of visitors will do going into the future. So big time congrats and hats off to, to J.K. Rowling and then to Warner Brothers. You know, and, and then the, the, the very important partner in all of this has been Stuart Craig. Stuart Craig is an Academy Award winning production designer. He, he has been our, our, our guardian. In, in terms of the design, the creative guardian of what this became. And, and his mentee, I would say, Alan Gilmore, who worked so tirelessly 
to, to teach us the importance of attention to even microscopic detail. It's the authenticity. It's the, it's the importance of getting it right. And, and Alan and, and Stuart did just that. And then, of course, the creative team of Mark Woodbury and, and the rest of the fabulous team that, that have worked so hard to, to make not just the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but all of Universal Parks and Resorts uh, creative attractions and shows and theme parks and hotels around the world uh, be so unbelievably uh, successful in every possible creative sense. And, and that having been done, Larry and his team will do such a terrific job making the day-to-day -day experience for our guests one that they'll never forget. Of course, the, uh, the, the leadership and guidance that, that Ron has provided through the years has been incredible. I dare say we would not be here tonight without Ron uh, establishing with Warner the, uh, the fact that we would, we would do a first-class job, that we would be good stewards of the Harry Potter brand. And, and so big time thanks to, to Ron and, and of course Steve Burke for his continued support and encouragement and really pushing us to the, to the next frontier of, of creative accomplishment. That all said, it is now my great pleasure and honor to introduce the chairman and CEO of Warner Brothers, Kevin Tishahara. Kevin has become my friend and together I feel our partner in bringing uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to life here in Hollywood and in other parks around the world. So, Kevin, please, please join me at this time. Thank you, Tom. And thank you all for coming this evening. And thank you, Mayor Eric Garcetti in the back for being here with us as well. Tonight continues the great relationship with our partners at NBC Universal and Universal Studios Holloway, led by Steve Burke, Ron Meyer, Tom Williams, and Larry Kurzweil. We began this particular journey in December 2011 when we announced that we'd be bringing the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to Universal Hollywood. Warner Brothers has had the fortune of being partners with J.K. Rowling for almost two decades after we optioned her first Harry Potter book back in 1998. Since then, this has grown into an incredibly important property for Warner Brothers. And we're honored that Joe has entrusted us with the careful and thoughtful growth of the Harry Potter franchise. Similarly, our collaboration with Universal has been a huge success. The two attractions at Universal Orlando have exceeded all expectations. And last month, Universal Japan reported record attendance driven by the Wizarding World that opened there in July 2014. On a personal note, I'm glad that the attraction has finally opened. So when my kids need a Harry Potter fix, we don't have to go to Osaka or Orlando. It's a much closer to drive from La Cunada. I'd like to acknowledge and thank the entire team of Warner Brothers for their efforts, and Harry Potter fans worldwide. They are the most loyal and passionate fans in the world. And we respect and value our relationship and responsibility to them. Of course, none of this would be possible without the creative genius of Joe Rowling and the magical world she created in her seven Harry Potter novels. Unfortunately, she is unable to join us tonight and she sends her warm regards. Joe has actually been very busy working on a project that continues the magic of the, misiting, of the Wizarding World with new characters and all new adventures. Our upcoming Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them will thrill the millions of current Harry Potter fans around the globe while introducing a whole new generation to the incredible Wizarding World created by Joe. The first Fantastic Beast film opens worldwide on November 18th. But as you can see around us here tonight, you don't have to wait until then to enjoy the magic. On behalf of Warner Brothers, J.K. Rowling, and Universal Studios Hollywood, we're proud to offer the opportunity to experience the magic 
of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Vice Chairman of NBC, NBC Universal and my good friend, Ron Meyer. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Without you and your extraordinary team at Warner Brothers, we would not be here tonight. Standing in Hogsmeade's before we officially opened the guests from around the world couldn't be more exciting and reminds me of the first time we met with you and the Warner Brothers team almost 10 years ago. From that meeting came a remarkable partnership that has forever changed the theme park experience. Together in 2010, we opened the first Hogsmeade in Orlando and amazed fans and theme park guests by immersing them in the magic of Harry Potter. At that moment, it became clear to us Orlando was just the start. It's now Hollywood's time. I'm pleased to be with all of you celebrating the long-awaited opening of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. With the support of Steve Burke and the leadership of Brian Roberts at Comcast, they were instrumental in getting us here. And over the last five years, they were joined by many great civic leaders who played a key role in our growth, and I'd like to acknowledge them. Zeb Yaroslavsky, Antonio Villagrosa, and Tom Labange. With their commitment, we were able to make an unprecedented investment in our company's future and transform our property in what you see here tonight. The work they started has continued to evolve thanks to exemplary leaders in both the city and the county, starting with Mayor Eric Garcetti, LA County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl, and Council Members David Rue and Paul Krikorian. They all stand strong with us as we dramatically increase tourism in Los Angeles. On behalf of the entire NBC Universal team, we thank all of you. We couldn't be more grateful for your dedication and support. Tom, Mark, and Larry, and the entire Parks Management team, you continually, continually exceed our expectations. Also crucial to the company's success are the creative and operations teams and the park employees who make this place special each and every day. Before I introduce our final speaker, I couldn't let this evening go by without mentioning Steven Spielberg, who is, who is with us tonight. who is a faithful friend to both me and our company. For the past 40 years, Stephen's vision has been an intricate part of our theme parks and film studio, and all of us at NBC Universal are forever grateful. It's now my great privilege to introduce, like myself, a native Angelino. He is passionate about revitalizing neighborhoods, creating jobs, and making our city the greatest place to live and work. He is a great friend to all of us, Please welcome the mayor of the city of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti. Good evening, friends, muggles, wizards. We are here together at this incredible night, and thank you, Ron, for your warm introduction. You know, my letter to Hogwarts was still lost in the mail, but I'm so excited to finally be here on the bridge of going to school here on this magical night. And I don't know if any of you took LA's own Hogwarts Express, also known as the Metro Red Line, but we do encourage you to do that as often as possible. The neighbors do. And it is wonderful to be here at Universal Studios Hollywood with our partners at NBC Universal who help make Los Angeles the creative capital of the world. Absolutely. This is LA. LA is the place where powerful, iconic stories are born, where hopes and dreams are made real, and where we write the next chapter of the future. Our movies, our television, our music entertains billions of people around the world. And LA is today ground zero for contemporary art. And just look around. In LA you can apparate or slip between the columns, between, you know, the different platforms, platform nine and three quarters perhaps, to a completely different world. And now, you know, I like to think of myself as a Gryffindor, but the Sorting Hat would probably tell me I'm a Ravenclaw. And like any good Ravenclaw, I'm constantly thinking of creative, innovative new ways to do my job. And as mayor of the city, that means bringing Los Angeles to the world and the world to Los Angeles. So when I became your mayor, I set the goal 
to bring 50 million visitors to Los Angeles by 2020, because that means jobs and prosperity for all of our communities. And today we are a giant step closer to that goal. We expect that the Wizarding World of Harry Potter will bring even more tourists to Los Angeles every year. These are visitors who will fly through LAX, stay in our hotels, eat in our restaurants, shop in our businesses that rev our local economy, and that means jobs for Angelinos. These are the visitors who bring the same vibrant diversity to our city that helps muggles and wizards, witches, Durmstrang, and a Bobaton students face the world together as brave, loyal, and strong people. Our diversity is incredible, and I want to thank Joe Rowling for her creative genius, for inspiring young people to fall in love with fantasy and fiction, and for allowing the world to share the story of an orphan boy who discovers the wizarding world. Thank you for helping LA's star shine a little brighter. Y brevemente también en español yo quiero decir, este es un gran día por la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Los Ángeles merece la mágica de Harry Potter y Harry Potter merece la mágica de Los Ángeles. Y Accio, una ciudad sin tráfico. It was worth a try. Pero celebramos juntos este gran día. Gracias a NBC Universal y Comcast por su dedicación a esta ciudad. Thank you to everybody who has made this day so special and may you have a day without traffic. Thanks. Excuse me, reporter business coming through, pardon me, excuse me. Gentlemen, good evening. I am from the Daily Prophet, and I have been tasked with properly documenting this evening for posterity. Photographs, gentlemen, properly posed photographs. Yes, we're walking, you're following me this way. Excellent. Mr. Mayor, if you will, into the center here next to Mr. Kurtzmeyer. Looking powerful. Oh, splendid. You did that automatically. This way, sirs. Follow me here. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, yes, Mr. Uh, Ron Meyer here, sir. Mr. Fosserman, yes, here. Oh, it's all, oh, splendid. I love it. Oh, I love it. Looking forward. Take a step forward. Eyes shining and smiling. It wouldn't do, gentlemen, any justice whatsoever. If the photographs this evening were anything less than perfect. Smiles, please. Thank you. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. Now, Mr. Kurtzbach, sir, I was informed there are additional special guests joining us this evening. Shall we introduce them, please? Thank you. <laughs> our night would not be complete without our next guest, talented performers who brought J.K. Rowling's magical world to life on screen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the Harry Potter film series, Tom Felton. <laughs> Ivana Lynch, Warwick Davis, and last but not least, I think we have a couple more guests arriving in time. Let's give it up for James Phelps and Oliver Phelps. I'm honored to ask one more person to join us on stage. He's a quintessential part of the Harry Potter films, a motion picture legend, and is quite truly a national treasure. Because, as Professor Dumbledore reminds us, music is magic beyond all we do here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for a warm welcome for world-renowned composer, John Williams. perfect photograph. We are smiling here, eyes bright. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you tomorrow morning's front page of the Daily Prophet. Oh. Oh. Joining us for tonight's finale is one of the world's leading orchestras. We are also honored to welcome the Los Angeles Philharmonic. To once again quote Professor Dumbledore, let us entertain our friends in the best way we can. Maestro, if you would do us the honor.
was truly amazing. How about an added round of applause for Tim Remco and his amazingly talented entertainment team who put together tonight's magnificent show. Thank you all for joining us for the premiere of The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. You're now all invited to enjoy Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Hogwarts has come to Hollywood. Maestro, as our guests enter the castle, may we prevail upon you and this marvelous orchestra one last time.